Hello everyone, welcome back to another So Your Wife Wants You To. I'm Steve-O. We're tackling the never-ending honeydew list. Honey doesn't always want me to do, to make uh, charcoal, but we're gonna do it anyway, because it's kind of fun. So let me show you how I do it. The first two things you need for charcoal are metal pot of any kind to put your chips in and a metal lid does not have to be airtight. It can literally just be, um, you set the metal lid onto the metal pot and that'll be okay. Uh, but it has to be relatively airtight. Can't have a lot of air or oxygen in there. Basically what you're trying to do is, it's almost like creating burnt toast almost. Because it's, you're gonna put, it, put this metal stuff in the heat, in the fire, and let it burn but without a lot of oxygen. So it's gonna get black but not turn white and catch on fire. Next, get your chips, any kind of wood chips. If you're in the hills, you could just go get some chips from, from the woods. But if you're, uh, if you're lacking in some of those resources, um, you know, white oak, red oak, cherry, whatever wood you want to use. I like these cherry ones, these are nice. Oh, they smell pretty good. You fill your bucket up, put your lid on, and then you set it in the fire. You want a nice, nice warm fire. I mean, it should be pretty hot. You're gonna put it in the coals and just let it sit. I think a bucket like this big, it's probably about 20 minutes or so. All right, take it out of the fire. It's gonna be, it's gonna be smoky and it's gonna be all black. You can see all black. When you do that, you gotta pour water on it right away. I already put water on this because the second that oxygen hits it, it's going to, not second, but within a 30 seconds probably, it's going to uh, catch on fire. So you want to open that up, pour water in. I already did that, that step. But, um, and then this is it. So, I'll show you here. You got your, uh, there's one chip that didn't totally make it, but this is your charcoal. Definitely want to pour water on, and then we're gonna actually wash this charcoal. So make sure you, you can get it as wet as you want, douse it, because you don't want it to be hot anymore, and you don't want it to be, um, you know, catch on fire or anything like that. We're gonna we're gonna completely soak this these uh, chips. Okay, next step is to pour all your chips into a colander, and we're gonna be putting some water on those bad boys. Let's get it nice and washed off. See all the little bits and pieces? So as you know, this, I didn't even tell you the reason that we're doing this, but this is gonna be for if you wanna filter out drinks or filter out alcohol. Um, some of those old moonshiners used to run this through. And actually, if you're making uh, Tennessee whiskey, this is an, a crucial step. You actually have to use sugar maple um, charcoal and they run that they run their whiskey through the sugar maple charcoal that's just one of the steps that you have to do if you're making official Tennessee whiskey also should be made in Tennessee but our state borders Tennessee so give us a pass but we're not actually making whiskey we're making something uh, different but you can run you can run anything through this but the point is you know you want to wash that if you have any oils like some some woods have more oil in them um, you run that through the, you run that through the uh, toaster there, the bucket, and then wash it off with water. It gets them nice and clean. All that little particulate stuff, any oils, it all burns off and it gets all nice. It gets just, it gets on your rock, but the rock will wash off. So that's it. So if you're using this for burn, if you want to burn it for some reason, then you're done. If you want to use it, or you, no, no, no. If you if you want to use it to burn. You're gonna have to dry it out, obviously. But if you're using it for, um, like right away to filter out drinks, alcoholic drinks or anything like that, um, to go ahead and use it. And it's gonna add a little tiny bit of water to your to your uh, mix, but other than that, either dry it out or use it right away, whichever one. Don't store it wet, I guess is what I'm trying to say. That's all, guys. Um, you can find cherry chips. I'll put a link to cherry chips in the description. Just click on the little more. 
more thing at the bottom of the picture there. But that is all. We'll catch you in the next one. Back to work.